My other videos so far have been summaries of some basic concepts of evolution. After some comments from my viewers and some debates from a few young earth creationists, I've decided that it might be a good idea to take another step back. Much of the public debate about evolution really stems from a misunderstanding of science itself. I touched on this a little bit in my first video on evolution, but I decided I should give a video crash course on the methodology of science. So let's start with the basics. Science is a game. It happens to be the most successful and useful game in all of history, but it's still simply a game. The game's goal is verisimilitude. This word is not very commonly used, and I first heard it in a 300 level philosophy of science course as an undergrad. The term verisimilitude means closeness to the truth. See, science may never actually discover 100% of the truth about any of the subjects it studies, but I would argue that it cannot help but getting closer and closer to the truth by the methodology that it takes. Let me now explain that methodology. First, a hypothesis is proposed. This hypothesis must be a testable statement about reality. By testable, I mean that there must be a set of predictions that logically follow the hypothesis that can be reasonably compared multiple times with observations from the world to examine its accuracy. In a good experiment, the predictions are very clearly laid out with specific criteria for rejecting the hypothesis. The reason for this is that it allows the reader to evaluate whether this criteria is fair. After all this is set up, the experimenter gathers facts. Facts are simply verifiable observations. Then, the experimenter compares these facts with the predictions. If the predictions differ from the facts to the degree given in the criteria or more, then the hypothesis should be rejected. If not, it is tentatively accepted until the facts are provided that can reject it, at which time, if a more accurate hypothesis comes along, it can replace the original. When two hypotheses conflict, we look at the ways that their predictions differ, and we see which fits the facts better. A theory is a hypothesis that explains how a certain aspect of nature works. And this is key, and has withstood a series of well-constructed experiments better than anything has before. Intelligent design fails both of these criteria because not only does evolution explain the patterns observed in nature better, intelligent design can never be a theory since it offers no explanation of how the designs were put in place. At best, it can only ever be a hypothesis. Now, there's no fundamental difference between theories and laws in science, except that laws are generally only claimed as such in physics, and we can see how that worked out for Newton's law of gravity once Einstein's version came along. Now, I want to touch on a common misconception about science. Young Earth creationists often argue that scientists are dogmatic materialists and that science is inherently atheistic. Well, science is only methodologically materialistic and not philosophically materialistic. There's a big difference, because the materialism in science is not dogmatic, but simply, simply practical. Let me explain. Philosophical materialism is the belief that everything can be explained by matter, energy, and natural phenomena, and that the supernatural doesn't exist. However, the methodological materialism of science simply points to the impossibility of actually testing the supernatural, and so restricts itself to trying to explain everything it can with testable natural causes. Let me reiterate. The methodological materialism of science makes no claims about whether or not supernatural forces exist, but simply asserts that concepts like miracles from God cannot be adequately tested simply by looking at the natural world. To demonstrate why methodological materialism is necessary in science, I'll use an example I've heard from young earth creationists. I've heard it claimed that, though God only made the earth 6,000 years ago, 
he could have made it look as if it were much older by creating a mature earth. So he made earth with ancient looking rock formations, light already en route from stars billions of light years away, and everything else we'd need to claim as we do that earth is billions of years old. Well, even if that's true, it's certainly misleading. It is completely impossible to determine by experiment. That's why science is methodologically materialistic. So now, if you've been paying attention, you've gotten the relationship between facts, predictions, hypotheses, theories, and laws in science. And you have a basic concept of how and why science proceeds the way it does. Now let's look at this in practice. Hypothesis. Earth is flat. Predictions. If we travel along the Earth's surface in one direction, we will come to the edge, eventually, of the Earth. Second, if we look at Earth from space, it will have a flat surface on at least one side, as opposed to being round from every angle. So, here are the observations, aka the facts. When we travel along the Earth's surface in one direction, eventually we come back to the place we started. Second, when we look at Earth from space, it is round from every angle. So our conclusion? Since both of our predictions are rejected, we reject the hypothesis that the Earth is flat. We could test other hypotheses about Earth's shape using the same method. Now, in order for science to make it into science school textbooks, it has to have survived these sorts of tests. The reason intelligent design and young Earth creationism aren't in science textbooks is that where they have been tested, they failed. And any claims that they haven't failed rely on supernatural explanations to defend them, like the concept of a recently created mature Earth. In the future, if there's enough interest in it, I'll demonstrate how evolutionary theories hold up to this sort of scrutiny, and intelligent design and young Earth creationism do not. Till then, play nice and never stop learning. Peace.